Okay, here's your original differential equation. Here is that same differential equation with variables separated. It's multiplied uh, both sides by y squared to get the y's over here and by dx to get the dx on the right. Uh, to find the antiderivative of this 3 plus 17x over x, divide x into each term of the numerator. The antiderivative of y squared is one third y cubed. The antiderivative of 3 over x is 3 ln of x. I dropped the absolute value symbol because we're told that x is greater than 0. Antiderivative of 17 is 17x plus some constant of integration. And if I multiply both sides by 3, I'll have a formula for y cubed. Here I change the constant. It's just a new constant. Uh, and so right here, let's find out what that constant is. We're told that when x is 1, y is 3. That's what this means. So 1 in for x. ln of 1 is 0, so this term goes away. 3 cubed is 27. 27 minus 51 is what c sub 2 is. So there is your formula after taking substituting negative 24 for the constant and taking the cube root of both sides. Okay, now I'll go to Desmos and display some stuff. Here's f of x, this red curve right here. If you want to con use Desmos to confirm your derivative, uh, there is f prime. And there is the original problem that we ended up with where y is f of x. It's the same curve. Okay, so that kind of convinces us that this answer is correct. And there's the original function. Here is some tangent lines using both g of x sub 1 and f prime of x sub 1 to find the slope. And this movable point is on the curve. And there's the tangent lines. When you get down here, that slope gets pretty big, almost infinity. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.